guys welcome back so today I thought I would treat you all to a little bit of a MoU tutorial um, I have done a MoU collection video for those of you who have seen any of my other videos now I am just going to kind of give you a brief overview of the different things that you've got in front of you now so we have got the MoU workshop um, that is something I put down when I'm doing my nails because it's just a really nice surface to work on. Um, I always have some tissue by the side of me just because it just means that anything dirty I can put down there and it doesn't really matter, I can just throw it away at the end. Um, we've got the Moyu Black Stamping Nail Polish and the Clear Stamper. The Clear Stamper, that's this one here. Let me just show you there. Um, so you can kind of see through it and it optimises the image um, that we're going to be using. Um, I've got some OPI top coat. Um, really, really like OPI. That's a, a uh, just a mini size that I just kind of need to use up. So I thought I would use that one today. Now, a lot of people use the mini limp rollers when they're doing MoU nails. Um, I don't bother getting my crafty head on uh, all I do is I get some masking tape and I wrap it round a tube so this is the tube for my MoU um, dotting tool so I've just wrapped that round there and you'll see why that's useful later on okay and then I've got my MoU my MoU dotter as well let's see that there. there we are it's a really nice small tool that you can use for, for gems and doing dots of nail varnish on. Okay, so the two stamping plates that I thought we'd use today is the typography. Uh, I haven't used this one before so I don't know how it's going to come out so we'll just have a little little play with that one. Uh, but that one basically, I'll just bring it up closer to the camera so you can see, um, it's got lovely lovely typewriter on it really really pretty lovely little um, letters on there that you can use to type make out words and because Lush have released the unicorn horn for the Valentine's Day collection I thought we would use um, let me show you the front plate actually first the um, tumbler girl one that I've got because it has some pretty, pretty unicorns on it. I don't know if you can see that there. So I thought that image would be a fantastic one for us to use today. So I thought we'd use those two, kind of see what we can come up with. Um, and I'll just take you through some of the basics on how you pick up your image, how you put it onto your nail. I have already pre-painted my nails. I've painted them with a really really basic pastels nail varnish which is in like a grey colour and um, just because I thought it would come up quite nicely on camera and give you a nice really clear image um, and this was just from our basics range in I think it was Wilkinson's so um, yeah let me get in position and we'll get started I have got my scrapey ready now there is a bit of a, a trick when you're doing this you need to do it quite evenly and downwards um that you'll see and i've got my moyu stamping nail uh, polish now this is a little bit thicker you can't really do it with generally any nail varnish i do recommend that you use one of their nail varnishes kind of at least when you're first getting started and um, just so that you can kind of get a really good um first set of images okay so even though you have scraped over the top of it you can't actually see the image yet but when I roll my rubber stamper if I show you down there you can see her really really nicely really really pretty so as I said before we've got that masking tape so what we're going to do that excess nail varnish that's on there I'm just going to lift off okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inside of here put it exactly where I want it on my thumbnail because it is quite a big image there and I'm going to press it and I'm just going to slightly roll it to make sure it's all on 
There we are. Let me just see if I can get that to focus. Here we are. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? It's so cute. <laughs> I really, really do love the effects that the MoU give. What I might do is I've got some, some little gems here um, for my crafty stash. I might just add a little gem on one or two of my nails later on. Okay, it's always good to give that a bit of a, a wipe off um, afterwards with some nail varnish remover. I'm quite a big fan of Leighton Denny nail varnish remover and um, they do um, quite big big pots um, that you can get reasonably quite cheap and they're just nice and that's a, an acetone free one so it's not too harsh on your nails. Um, I do find that if I do this a lot I do get a bit of splitting on my nails so my nails aren't the most moist, um, don't produce very much oils um, so I can't do it all the time as much as I'd like to. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that off um, and we can come back to, to that one later. And all I'm doing is just putting a bit of nail varnish remover onto the plate because it's metal obviously it's not going to affect it at all. Um, and just giving that a bit of a wipe and sometimes it's always good then just to turn your, your cloth over and just give it another wipe just to get any residue off. There we go. Lovely and shiny and new again, ready for another stamp. Now I'm only going to actually do the unicorn on my thumbs um, because I actually have quite small nails so I find that you can use like some of the whole patterns a little bit better on my nail. But what I thought we'd do today is I thought I would write um, some words on my nails. So we'll have a little play with this plate. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put some letters on these word, on these ones. Um, and because, as you know, I'm a bit obsessed with Lush at the moment, I thought we'd write Lush. Um, now obviously they are quite small when you put the nail varnish on it it's going to scrape over some others so you will have to obviously keep cleaning it as you go but as long as you keep cleaning it and you work quickly it's not going to be a problem okay so i'm just going to get some of the mo london nail varnish again i'm going to scrape it over the air like i said i've never used this plate before so i don't know exactly how it's going to come out so it'll be a little bit of a swatch test okay let me see that there not bad not bad it's a little bit thin but that's fine um let's get rid of some of that excess Oh, yeah no let's let's do that one again there we go that's much better picked up a lot less of the other the other patterns this time so let's get rid of the excess again there we go okay so obviously it just depends on whether you want it facing yourself or facing outwards i'm going to do it facing outwards so let me see if i can get that in a shot okay so I've just stamped the little L on my nail and what I found with this plate is that actually because it's quite a delicate image you actually have to use a little bit more pressure with this so when I'm stamping it I really am pressing my nail into the whole thing so I'm going to try doing the next letter and see if I can capture that for you um there we go and i also found that this one actually scrapes a little bit better sideways just because it's quite a small image and that way you don't pick up as much um, of the other images that are on the plate okay that's not quite perfect but I get the idea and you can be quite light with your um 
scraping I do find that you don't have to you know really scrape it you need to be quite quite gentle um, you know you can leave quite a lot of nail varnish still on the um, on the plate and it's not going to actually affect how you um, get that image Where is H? Ah, oh, H is just there. So that was a little bit harsher, so I reckon that this one will probably come out quite thin. Mm. Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay little nail <laughs> and also if you do make a mistake, mistake at this point if your nail varnish underneath is really really dry you will find that you'll probably be able to scratch off um, any um, stamping that you do um, so I'm going to go on and do my other set of nails um, and what I'll do is afterwards we'll go I'll come back to you guys and um, we'll do a bit of a kind of more of a, a reveal so it's been about five ten minutes now um, I've let the nail varnish dry a little bit I always like to kind of leave it to dry because then obviously if you're going to be applying wet nail varnish on wet nail varnish obviously you know what's going to happen it's going to smudge so we didn't want to do that and what I have done is I've just gone away and I've stuck some little gems um, I've put them on the outside rather than looking at the image because both of them have come out slightly differently and um, which can happen when you do do stamping because obviously you're putting different amounts of pressure so whereas this one's got a bit of a thicker image this one's a little bit finer so, okay so we're just going to apply some top coat um, and then we should all be done now as you can see it's really quick and easy to actually do them I mean once you've kind of just got started um, it just it's just so quick I mean a full set usually takes me less than 20 minutes if you're already prepared um, and if I've painted my nails like the day before or the night before and I just wanted to do something quite fun for a day out um, I don't usually apply a particularly thick top coat just because I do find that I chip my nail varnish really quickly so something like this will last me probably um, about three days um, especially if I'm sticking gems on which are a little bit bigger um, well, yeah I mean what I would say is that if you are interested in doing something like this I practice mine on on these what they're called nail pops and I basically just swatch them with some colour and then practice stamping on them. It just means that you're not then making a load of mess and you're not having to like take off a load of product with like nail varnish remover and wasting money because you can get like a hundred plus of these in a pack from AliExpress for about a couple of quid. Really pretty. Look at those. <laughs> Um, I often get a lot of people ask me, oh, where did you get your nails done? And I go, oh, I did it myself. And they're like, what? What? And I'm like, yeah. Because it's something that's not really known about very well. I mean, there's a small couple of companies, as I said, that, that do nail plates in my uh, nail plate collection video. But I just say, have a go, try them out. Get experimenting I will do some more videos that are a little bit more advanced in the next couple of weeks playing with a couple of different colors and different plates and things but I just say try them out have a go and see what you can come up with um, if you've got any questions or um, any feedback for me obviously I'm not the most amazing nail stamper in the world there's people out there that are much better than me um, you know, obviously, if you've got any tips that you want to share, please do so. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye!